Probably one of the best new features in iOS 11 is the built-in screen recorder, which will record what's happening on your iPad screen along with the audio if you choose. Now when you first update to iOS 11, the screen recording tool is not um, available by default. So in order to gain access to that, you want to go to your settings, go into the control center, customize controls, and here you can uh, pull in a variety of different features and tools into your control center. One of them being screen recording. So you tap the plus to add it to the include list above and from here you can also rearrange the items in your list as well. Once it's been added to your control center you now have access to it. The control center can be um, accessed by swiping up from the bottom of your iPad and now the screen recording tool is included in my control center in the top right corner. Now you can tap and hold on the screen recorder to gain access to the on off switch for the microphone. Now in my experience the microphone is off by default um, so in order to use the microphone to record audio as you're recording your screen you simply tap it to turn it on or tap it to turn it off. And then from here you can also start the recording. So if I start the recording here it'll give me a, a, a nice three second countdown and then it'll begin recording my iPad screen um, along with the audio if I have it turned on. Now I can also activate the screen recording feature just by tapping on the, the button in the control center and it will also give me a three second countdown. Now I'm going to sh uh, finish showing you the rest of the screen recording feature uh, um, from my iPhone here because uh, currently uh, the screen recording feature doesn't work if you're displaying your iPad through AirServer or QuickTime on your MacBook. just wanted to show you a couple more things. Now I'm going to access my screen recorder again by swiping up. I can tap the screen recording button to turn it on. It gives me a three second countdown and it'll turn red. Uh, to show you that it is currently recording your iPad screen. And if I tap out, you'll see a red bar across the top indicating that you are recording your screen. When you're done recording, you simply tap that red bar and you get a prompt that says stop screen recording. And when you stop it, it'll uh, send your recording and save it to your photos.